A new warning tonight about China's Communist Party targeting U.S. infrastructure. Just how vulnerable are those systems? The House panel heard about increasing cyber threats and whether the U.S. can effectively combat them. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Well, good evening, Tracy. Yes, the news is alarming. From water treatment plants to oil and gas pipelines to even electrical grids and our cell phones, all of them are at risk. FBI Director Christopher Wray told lawmakers at a hearing on the House Subcommittee on China that Chinese hackers are infiltrating our computer networks. China's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real-world harm to American citizens and communities if and when China decides the time has come to strike. Congressman Mike Gallagher, who chairs the subcommittee, agrees. The sole purpose is to be ready to destroy American infrastructure, which would inevitably result in chaos, confusion, and potentially mass casualties. It's outrageous. Imagine not one pipeline, but many pipelines disrupted. Uh, telecommunications going down so people can't use their cell phone. People start getting sick from polluted water. Trains get derailed. Air traffic control system, port control systems are malfunctioning. This is truly an everything, everywhere, all at once scenario. Just this week, the FBI disrupted the KV botnet used by Chinese hackers to target U.S.-based critical infrastructure organizations. I'm Experts say the CCP right has been preparing for decades to challenge the U.S. It really prefers to use so-called gray zone tactics and azeometric warfare, uh, sort of striking in ways that have plausible deniability. He adds the U.S. must ramp up its investments in high-tech and counterintelligence and upgrade its hardware and infrastructure. There need to be more sanctions on outbound investment, uh, preventing American money from funding research into Chinese espionage, cyber attacks and military. There needs to be, um, I think, stricter controls also of Chinese activities and what uh, we are seeing sort of uh, in terms of cyber attacks, gray zone uh, operations and influence operations, uh, even uh, also on United States soil. We do want to let you know that Congress is working on a number of bills, one of which would combat China's global influence by forcing companies wishing to sell sensitive items overseas to prove that their products do not pose a risk to American interests. Another targets Chinese foreigners from buying U.S. ag land near sensitive sites like military bases. And another seeks to limit the Chinese government's access to conducting research at our universities. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.